at the Virgin Mary. Alleluia. <clears throat> For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, is vouchsafed to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the Bibliotis of Fili, Spiritum Sancti, Amen. In Tuoi Coratari Dei, et Nen Cunitificai, in Tuoi Tuoi Meum. In Tuoi Camere, in Sergio Nicanto Meum, de Gente Non Sante, Amen. In Tuoi Nel Codo Rosso, Dome. Quietus Deus, Fotitum, Quore Le Felicit, Quale Tristit in Cielo, Dove Felice Benedicus. E mi delusum, Dove Veritatum Tum, Se non Edum, 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 Se Comprete voti vincitore, Deus Deus meus, quae tristi animo a me, a riquare con tuo vasme. Sfere in Deo cuore, ma non vite ego ini, salutare vultus me, et Deus Deus. Gloria, Patri, Filio, et Spirito, et Sancto, stico de la tu principio, e nunca et sempre, et in secula secudorum, Amen. In tuoi volontari Dei, e Dei in critifica, e vivum tu tu meum, auditori nostri, e damne domini, qui fece cielo e terra. Confitio del Vitente, via di Maria, te vieni, via di Italia, te vieni, via di Juan Battista, Santi Vossi, Stati, Paolo, io, Juan Maria, via di Omnus, Santi Vossi, Stati, qui vi dà bene in scogitazione, me vuoi d'occorre, me ho culpa, me ho culpa, me ho massima culpa. E io prego, via di Maria, te vieni, via di Natale, ma grande, non vi dà bene in Juan Battista, Santi Vossi, Stati, Paolo, me ho bene in Juan Maria, via di Omnus, Santi Vossi, Stati, ora ricomendo a me due mani. Sria tu tu unico tenente e sui spettati tu e tu che te vita ne te. Amen. Confitio del mio potente, viati Maria, sempre vigili, viati in Italia, tanti sono viati, Giovanni Battista, Santi Sposti, Spettus, Paolo, Omnitus, Santi, Sentiti Pate, qui è per la mia inizio generazione, vero e torre. Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo maxima culpa. E io prego, beata Maria, sempre vigile, beata Michele, Marcangelo, beata Juan Battista, Santo Sposto, Spetto, Paolo, Omne, Santo, Sette, Pate, ora le come, ad Omnium del nostro. Miseria tu vessi, mi potenze, usi, mi spettati, vessi, studio, te tua se vita, metà, no? Amen. Urgenza, ma su Sione, metto missione, te tu torno, solo in te vio, et non sono i potenti, misericus, Dominus. Amen. Deus tu converso, sui vivitati, sa? e plebs tu ne tra vittoria in te, o se ne nomi storia e misericordia al tuo, e salutare tu un tra noi, domine gloria e razione mea, e clamo mea se te bene, domino suo viscum, e con spirito tuo, orre vos. E soltato in Ierusalem, lemme et gaudemo in poculo meo, e non è rieto ordine o ultra vox letus e vox clamoris, e letti me non laborabunt frustra, neque generabunt in conturbazione. Qui a seme benedictorum domini est, e nepotes e orum cum eis. Alleluia, alleluia. Deus auribus nostis audivimus, patris nostri in arreverum tocus quod operatus eis in diebus e orum. Gloria, Patria, Filio e Spiritu e Santo, sicco della tua principio e nunca e sempre, e in secola seculorum, Amen. E soltato in Jerusalem e Gaudemo in poculo meo, e non avrieto in neo ultra vox fletus e vox clamaris, e lecti me non lavorabunt frustra, neque generabunt in cultivazione, qui a seme benedictorum domini est, e nel pote seorum cum eis. Alleluia, Alleluia. Kyrie eis, Kyrie eis, Kyrie eis, Christa eis, Christa eis, Christa eis, Kyrie eis, Kyrie eis, Kyrie eis. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terro pax omnibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, grazie gagimus te mi prorote mandum gloriam tuam, Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens, Domine Filio Unigenita, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Omnius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccatum mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccatum mundi, suscif et deprecazione nostra, qui sedes et extrem Patris, miserere nobis, 
Valiam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus Jesu Christe, cum sanctus spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Ex avobis et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. Deus, qui multitudinem populorum piaci bonifaci, martiris tui atque pontifici seno, Ad agnitionem tui nominis vocali dinatus est, quam cede propitius, ut cui usademi e paulimus etiam patrocinia sentiamus. Per Domino nostrum Iesum Christum Filium tu, qui tecum vil de regna ad umanitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, terra mia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Quam cede Christus omnipotens Deus, ut cui hodiar ne vie unigenitum tu, Redemptorem nostrum acetulos ascendisse credimus, ipse quoque mente in celestibus habitemus. Per riundum Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum Filium Tum, qui tecum vivit a regna ad unanitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Libri, Lexio Libri Sapientia. La Demus, virus gloriosus in parentes nostros in generazione sua, Voltam gloriam feci dominus magnificentia sue seculo, dominantes in potestatibus suis, homines mani vetute in prudentia sua prediti, nunciantes in profetis dedicatem profetabum, et, imparan, et imparantes in presenzi populo, et vetute in prudentia populis sanctissima verba, in peditia sua referentes mondus musicos, et errantes tamina scriptura arbum, Homines di vites in vetute, in colpitrudinis sudiem avendes, agivitantes in nobibus suis. Homines isi in generazione bugenti sui gloria et epsisum, et in diegus suis aventur in albibus. Quid iris nati sun reliquerunt nomen erandi laudes eorum, et sun quorum non est memoria, per rierunt quasi qui non ferunt, et nazi sun quasi non ad nazi, et fini epsorum com epsis. Sed ili viri misericordiae sunt, Cor pietatis non defuerunt, cum semine eorum pevenent bona, hereditas et sancte nepotes eorum, et in testamente estetit semine eorum, et fili eorum prote illus usque in eternum mane, semine eorum et gloria eorum non de relinquetur, opra epsorum in pace supultus sunt, et nomen eorum vivit in generationem in generationem, sapientiam epsorum narent populi, et laudem eorum nunci et ecclesia. Deo gratias. Alleluia, alleluia, letame di cum Jerusalem, et exultati in ea, omnes qui dirigitis Dominum, alleluia, qui debitis et al debit covestum, conoscetur manus Domini servis eius, alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sequentia Santi Vangeli secundum et Deum, Gloria Tibi Domine. In ino tempore videns Iesus turbas ascendit in montem, et cum sedisit a Cesserum da Deum discipuli Eus, et a periens os suam doceva Deus dicens, viaci pauper e spiritu, quodium ipsorum es regum celorum, viaci mites, quodium ipsi posite punteram, viaci qui lucen, quodium ipsi conservabuntur, Viati qui e sue oriunde situet estitiunt justitiam, quoniam ipsi sacurabuntur. Viati misericordes, quoniam ipsi misericordiam consequentur. Viati mundo corde, quoniam ipsi deum videbum. Viati pacifici, quoniam figli de vocabuntur. Viati qui persecuzioni passiuntur prote justitiam, quoniam emissorum et regum celorum. Viazzi estis, cum maledixerint vos bis, et persecuti vos fuerint, et dixerint onne malum adversum vos, vencientes propte me. Laudete ed exultate, quodia merces vestra copiosa est in cenus. Laus, Tibi Christi.
on this feast of Saint Boniface of Fulda, Bishop and Martyr. The lesson is taken from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Now let us call the roll of famous men that were our fathers long ago. What high achievements the Lord has made in them, made known in them, ever since time began. Here were men that had power and bore rule, men that excelled in strength or in the wisdom that dowered them. Prophets that worthily upheld the name of prophecy, issuing to the people the commands their times needed, uttering through their foresight a sacred charge to the nations. Here were men that had skill to devise melodies, to make songs and to set them down in writing. Here were men rich in ability, noble of aim, that dwelt peacefully in their homes. These were the glories of their race, the ornament of their times, and the sons they begot have left a memory that adds to the recital of their praise. Not like those others who are forgotten in death as if they had never been, nameless and their, ch their nameless they and their children as if they had never lived. No, these were men of tender heart. Their deeds of charity will never be forgotten. Blessings abide with their posterity. Their descendants are a race set apart for God, the pledged heirs of his promises. For their sakes this line of theirs will endure for all time. Their stock, their name will never be allowed to die out. Their bodies lie in peace. Their renown lasts on, age after age. Their wisdom is yet a legend among the people. Wherever men assemble, their story is told. And the Holy Gospel today is the continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time, when Jesus saw how great the crowd was, he went up onto the mountainside. There he sat down, and his disciples came about him, and he began speaking to them. This was the teaching he gave. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the patient, they shall inherit the land. Blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for holiness, they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be counted the children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution in the cause of right. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you falsely because of me. Be glad and light-hearted, for a rich reward awaits you in heaven. Ave Maria, grazie, plena Dominus, tecum benedicta tu mulieribus e benedictus un cusentris tu Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in mal, in orari motis nostre. Amen. In nomine Patris e Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Caris, my beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass. On this, as we said, the Feast of Saint Boniface, a bishop and martyr, originally an Englishman, born in 680 AD in Crediton. Uh, he was schooled uh, as a Benedictine monk, at Exeter, uh, before then uh, becoming uh, a missionary. Boniface's first missionary endeavour uh, proved actually unsuccessful. That was in 716 AD. Before attempting a second, uh, he went to Rome and received papal authorization in 718. Under the Holy Bishop Willibrord, he converted Frisia within a period of three years. On November the 30th, 722, Boniface was consecrated a bishop by Gregory II of Rome. In 724, he turned his attention to the Hessian people, among whom he continued his missionary activity with renewed zeal. On an eminence near the village of Geismar on the Eder, he felled a giant oak that the people honoured as the national sanctuary of the god Thor. Boniface used the wood to build a chapel in honour of St Peter. This courageous act assured the eventual triumph of the gospel in Germany. Of course, this too is presumed to be the legend uh, from which the tradition of the Christmas tree comes. For it was said that when uh, he felled the great oak dedicated to Thor, uh, it, as it fell, crushed the other trees around it, uh, formed itself into the sign of a cross by its broken branches, but there, in the middle of it, was this tiny little fir tree. 
And that's why uh, supposedly uh, we have Christmas trees, fir trees to this day. The resident clergy and the priests uh, dwelling at the uh, court, uh, the uh, Frankish court, uh, whose unworthy lives needed censure, were constantly creating difficulties. Nevertheless, Boniface continued to labour quietly, discreetly. He prayed unceasingly, put his trust in God alone, recommended his work to the prayers of his spiritual brothers and sisters in England, and God did not abandon him. Conversions were amazingly numerous. In 732, Gregory III of Rome sent him the pallium, the insignia of the archiepiscopal dignity. Boniface now devoted his time and talent to the ecclesiastical organisation of the church in Germany. He installed worthy bishops, set diocesan boundaries, promoted the spiritual life of the clergy and laity, held national synods uh, between 742 and 747, and in 744 founded the great monastery of Fulda, which became a centre of religious life in central Germany. In 745 he chose Mainz for his archiepiscopal see and affiliated it to 13 Safrican dioceses. This completed the ecclesiastical organisation of Germany. The final years of his busy life were spent, as were his earlier ones, in missionary activity. Word came to him in 754 that a part of Frisia had lapsed from the faith. He took leave of the priests and, sensing the approach of death, carried along a shroud. He was 74 years of age when, with youthful enthusiasm, he began the work of restoration, a mission he was not to complete. A band of semi-barbarous pagans overpowered him and put him to death, just as he was about to administer confirmation to a group of neophytes at Dokum on Pentecost Sunday. St Boniface is often hailed uh, within the church, certainly at any rate, as one of the greatest of Englishmen. Because of his apostolic missionary endeavour in Germany, of course, many, I suppose, have forgotten him over here. But he was, of course, a, a son of Devon, uh, as we said, from Crediton. And uh, he never lost sight nor touch, indeed, uh, with his uh, English ancestry, uh, or sorry, with his, his, his English ties. Uh, as was mentioned there, he uh, often uh, bid the prayers of uh, his brothers and sisters in Christ in southern England. But not only did he beg their prayers, he also uh, begged them for books and begged them for uh, uh, religious uh, paraphernalia, uh, means of which or by which, of course, uh, to celebrate and offer true worship and, on and worthy worship uh, to God in his missions. His uh, success is really quite incredible. Uh, as was noted, uh, he assisted for three years Bishop Willibrord. Now, St. Willibrord, of course, uh, was the first uh, apostle to that region, uh, particularly of the uh, what we now know as the, the Netherlands, um, but uh, Friesland, as it was known then. Uh, and Willibrord, of course, had uh, uh, considerable success himself. Uh, but in many ways, uh, Boniface was to build upon and extend that work into uh, a, a, a more expansive uh, territory into Germany. We have still uh, a wonderful description written in the 8th century, uh, a biography of uh, St Boniface, which you can uh, find online. And you can also, too, uh, read many of his letters uh, which uh, are still available online and have been uh, translated. As we have reflected recently, of course, we celebrate and commemorate uh, the martyrs of old, uh, sometimes perhaps uh, forgetting the martyrs of today, but also too, of course, more likely or more truthfully perhaps, or more honestly in a reflection, is we often forget to take the inspiration and the encouragement that we ought from their example. Even though, of course, those who have been martyred may, from one perspective, be, uh, might be considered a failure because uh, their lives were taken from them, 
Only those with that uh, possessive, obsessive uh, approach and attitude to life as we discussed on Saturday Catechism this past week uh, would think that way. Those who see with the eyes of faith, of course, uh, realize that uh, these martyrs, uh, though they lose their earthly lives, have certainly gained their eternal life. But what's more is that their witness, their testimony, uh, their efforts uh, themselves uh, do not go without reward because they, of course, in their turn, uh, save other souls too. And here, my brothers and sisters, is where we as Christians today should be focusing and, con and concentrating our own efforts in the proclamation of the gospel. We are, of course, still in the octave of the ascension, the octave day of which, of course, is tomorrow, which, which, but before which, of course, our Lord, before his immediate ascension, um, said and instructed, gave the great commission to the apostles and the disciples to proclaim the gospel and to baptize in the name of the Holy Trinity. Elsewhere, we have heard too, uh, particularly for the gospel of Ascension Day itself, uh, these particular words of our Lord reference that commission. Go out all over the world and preach the gospel to the whole of creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who refuses belief will be condemned. The great illusionist and magician, Pen, uh, Pen Juliet, I think his name, his surname is, uh, but of Pen and Teller, uh, the double act, the famous double act uh, from America, uh, perhaps with the, one of the longest running shows in Las Vegas, or one of the longest running residencies, we might say, in Las Vegas. Uh, Penn is a, himself a proclaimed atheist. Now, I know I've said this before, but it's worth remembering, because Penn says that he has uh, great uh, admiration for those who do proselytize their faith, i.e. those who would try to convert him, than those who wouldn't or don't. Because, he says, if you believe, as Christians believe, in eternal life, if you believe in the salvation of the world, of the necessity of salvation, if you believe in God, he says, then why wouldn't you? He says, how much must you hate other people not to want them to be saved, not to want them to have eternal life? Now these are true words, my brothers and sisters, and ones which we ought ourselves as Christians to think about and appropriately react. Because surely not to proclaim the gospel, not to seek to uh, uh, convert uh, other souls, is indeed to hate. How can it not be? As surely as we desire the very best for our children, for our siblings, for our family, for our community, for our society, for our nation, surely should we so, sh surely should we also earnestly desire and work for their conversion. If we love our children, if we love our families, if we love our friends, truly love them, and if we truly believe in eternal life, if we truly believe that there is a judgment, if we truly believe that there is a form of hellish existence that has an eternal character and nature to it after judgment, then surely, surely we want our loved ones not to suffer that fate, but instead to enjoy eternal life in heaven, to be in the new heaven and the new earth, to be with God forever. Not tortured by the fire of his love, but embraced and warmed by it. And we see in the example of St Boniface, 
and of other great missionaries we see in them a desire both to fulfill this great commission of our Lord but also too in the doing to manifest the love of God making known the love of God to others and making known the love of God in such wise that others are converted perhaps we don't think reflect enough sometimes about the nature of that work the nature of what was accomplished by those uh, missionaries that they're not just their preaching but their living example the way they lived their lives the way they conducted themselves made such an impression that souls were converted that people not only heard them but saw them and were moved by their preaching in both deed and word moved to see and to recognize and desire to embrace the love of God the question we might ask ourselves my brothers and sisters is is the way in which we live our lives as Christians in deed and word does it convey the love of God? Does it manifest the love of God? Will it move others to receive, to recognize and desire to embrace the love of God? In our striving after personal holiness, we should be endeavoring, I hope, to increase within ourselves God's love. It should then be a natural consequence as we grow and mature spiritually in the love of God that God's love should begin to be noticeable within us. That God's love should begin to manifest itself in us, through us. So that in all our words and deeds, others might see a difference between our lives and their lives, between the way in which we live and approach life and the way they do. question we must constantly ask ourselves is is my life manifesting God's love am I manifesting God's love to others to family to friends to colleagues to the people I meet would those who live closely with me my family my friends would they be able to say of me oh yes you can see God's love in them you can see God's love at work would they say yes you can see God's love and work in me yes you can see how God's love inspires me how it affects my thinking, my speaking, and my actions. Are we manifesting God's love? And for sure, my brothers and sisters, that is, of course, the whole purpose of our lives, to become God's love. Remember, the evangelist's words, 
God is love and they who live in love live in God and God lives in them. God is love. Are we, could it be said of us that we are love? Are we living our lives in such a way that we are growing in God's love? Our love for God indeed should be growing, should be deepening. And if it were, and if it is, we should naturally begin to see its effect in us and through us. We should more easily be able to serve others, to love others. We should more easily be able to speak of our Christian hope. Indeed, we ought really to be demonstrating the sort of behaviour that young lovers uh, ex, uh, display in those first uh, few months of love when all they can talk about is the other when all they can talk about is the object of their affections do we talk about God do we talk about Jesus like a young lover is our love for God and for Christ manifest in our lives in our words in our actions if we are to build my brothers and sisters on the legacy of the martyrs both of the past and of the present, and doubtless of the future. We can do no better than grow in the love of God, mature in the love of God, manifest the love of God. As we've said before, we're not all gifted orators, we're not all gifted to be evangelists and missionaries yet and however we all share in the same common vocation to fulfill God's will and what is God's will but that every soul be saved that every soul brought into the world be taken into heaven that every soul purposed and intended by God from all eternity may spend all eternity with him having come to know him and love him and serve him and be happy with him in this life. Let us, my brothers and sisters, strive, strive to grow in the love of God within us, that we may become effective missionaries, after St Boniface and all those who in their lives manifested the love of God such by their preaching, their teaching and their way of living and being that others recognise the love of God for them and embrace that love and strove to become that love in their turn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
Dominus Vabiscum et cum Spirito Tuo. Parde Benedicam Dominum, qui trivio et mihi intellectum, profitebam Deo mi conspectum eo sempre, quoria me dextis es mihi ne como vea. Alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, sosum corda, avemus a Dominum, gracias a Damus, Domino Deo nostro, dignum et justum eis, de veri dignum et justum et tecum et salutare, nos tibi sempre et ubico et gracias agere, Domine et Sancte Pate, in unipotent et tene Deus. Qui post resurrectionem suam omnibus discipulis suis manifestus et parvit, et ipsi scedentibus est elevatus in celum, unde nos divinitatis suere trivio erit esse participes. 
Eddie Day of Command Jenny said, Our country is controlling the dominant Sioni was formed by only research and less is executives. In the glory to a carnivus in a fine and each angels. Sanctus. 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth. Ladies and gentlemen, eterna gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus me venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
nobis gua gue bebek tur Ya sekura sekurorum Amen Orre Sporece di sanitari Guzmani di divina soluzione Comati Adeus dito Pate nos del tui Eis in cei di sangue di cei Tu non tuna E venia de regum Tu un fie volontas tua Sicut in cielo E in terra Anem nos un padre Anga nobis Valdie E dimita in nobis Debita in nostra Sigla nos dimitimus Debitori bus nostis E ne nos educat In tendanzia de libra nossa mano. Erra mia secula seculorum. Amen. Pater Domini sit semper a vobiscum e cum spirito tu. Ece agnus egi, ece qui tolit peccatum mundi. Domine non sum dignum sud idre sud tecto meo, se tendum de grembo et se nabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignum sud idre sud tecto meo, se tendum de grembo et se nabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignum sud idre sud tecto meo, se tendum de grembo et se nabitur anima mea. 
brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
Domino suavisco, et cum spirito tu. Orde. Sanctificati Domine, salutari misterio, quaesmus ut nobis sancti bonifacim a piedis tui atque pontificis via non desit oratio, cuius nos donasti in patrocinio gubernati. Per Domino nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tu, qui tecum che vedereni ad umilità di Spiritus Santi Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum, Ad fordemus. Presta nobis quaesmus a nipotente misericordeus, utque visibilibus misteri e sumente percepimus in visibili cose qua por effecti. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tu, qui tecum che vedereni ad umilità di Spiritus Santi Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum, Amen. Domino suo visco, et un spirito tuo, ite misa est, Deo grazie. In nome di Domini Benedictum, in sangue non conosco, in secolo, in secolo, in secolo, in nome di Domini, qui fece c'è il metteram, benedica vos, onnipotent Deus. Pate, et filius, et spiritus santus, Amen. In nome di Suo Visco, et con spirito tuo, sequenzio e santi Vangeli, secondo un bacco, gloria, tibi tocco. E nello tempo e le convenzi con i suoi dicendo discipoli si apparve di lì Gesù, ed ex vo bravi di incredulità e meiorme di orizia al codice, che i scrivetera a Deo me resori sì se non credidevo. E di si teis, e un tesi molto universo, un predicato di Evangelium omni creatore, qui credideri te battisato su verit saldus erit, qui vero non credideri condennabitur. Sin altri meios qui credideri in teis e quentur, e nobre meo demonio iicien, in cui sono quando non ho visto pente e stolente, si motiferò in cui vivere non è snocevit, su rei pros manus impone te bene habemum, e dominus qui dem Iesus post per luttutus est Deis, suntus est in cielum e sedi de Deis ad Dei. E gli altri profeti predicaferno dubi que in domino che vo forranti et simon confirmante, de quaesibus sinus. Deo grazie.